Yo, hello, how is it going right there? Um, I'm Babs. In this video, I will be taking you on how to create groups in you know, in Windows Server 2016 or on a virtual bus environment. In the last class, we talked about how to what create users and setting on logon to the what to the users. So now we are talking about the groups. The groups has to do with you setting up, um, setting up some. Uh, okay, let's say you are hacks as well as a sys admin, as a genius sys admin who are just coming into the IT and you you are requested by your boss to create a group. How do you go about this? You don't have the idea. Yeah, it's has been done. Now, you are requested. Yeah, the, the um, your boss asks you. To create this group and what i'm putting users these users want to carry out some tasks on the word on the system and they are what they are choosing maybe on a different 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 department to carry out what to carry out this word this project in order to make it very effective now you, you will need to watch to manage them as a word as a genesis admin how do you go about setting them so that you can be able to manage their computers so that they won't have errors and be able to go to monitor them so don't let us say too much while diving into this or into this practical class now the first step you have to do the first thing you have to do is to sorry about that is to click on tools now what's to click on tools you click on active directory users and what and computer now we are getting more deep into this what into this and we know how to do so many things which I will, we've shown in our what in our previous video now we want to talk about the group so this is my word my domain now thank you for those of you who are just joining into this world into this channel um i would advise that you check our previous video so that you can what you can come up with it and um for those of you who are just viewing and don't know what we have been talking about, don't know what you have been talking about, please, I will request that you would you subscribe into this world, into this YouTube channel, and try your possible to use my word to dispatch that to what to get in touch with me or use my link in order for me to work, explain to you better. And after subscribing, kindly head over to what to share to others who. What, what this video will be very very useful too so now as i'll be continuing to this class now we have different type of what organization using say which i have what i've created in our last class in case you don't know it could work you could just check adding uh, setting up users and what and create a logon in what in my other videos so now how do you go about doing this do i click on what on the woman resources let's first map out the word the numbers of users in this word in this woman resources so we have three users you have three users in this word in this woman resources department and the it department we have like four and um Now in the client user we have like three. So now what we are going to do, we are going to create a group in the world in the organization unit. Then we will now add the users into that one into that group and set them aside for the work for the work to be done. So how do we go about what how do we go about adding this group? We will we right click on this word on this technical domain then you create new then go to group so once you go to the group you create the group name maybe you maybe the group want to what want to create uh, want to do a uh, research or they are mapped out to carry out an important project in the organization or in any ramification the the uh the managing director of the company want to know the numbers of what want to know the number of users in the world in the 
in the organization excuse me so you type research research group or you can say project groups okay i mean project project team let's put it that way okay so now we've said that then you click on global and make sure is what is this is in security so once that has been done you click on ok yeah so we've what we've created a group now what we are going to do we will we move this word group we move in users into this group who are they choosing maybe they are taking what they are taking they're taking um they're taking Anna from what from the client users and they're taking human resources they're taking debbie from the human resources department and they are taking what this is for what educational purpose so we are taking uh hacking from the word from the IT department. So how do you go about what adding this group? We go to this organization unit. I mean my domain, which is the technical the local. Then we've already created the body group. And in the group, I would like to move this group into the what into the manage service account. I mean manage service account. I would like to add there. So now it's not in the world, it's not in the technical local anymore. It's in what money service account. So is in now I will now go click on this project team and click on member. Once I could uh, go to member, now I will now like map out the no a uh, uh, the name of the word of this branch. Now I would like to you I would like to mark I would like to go back and bring out these names first in the IT department. I would like to akin um akin i would like to bring a notepad and type in the names so i won't notepad i'll make any mistakes so It's good to map out the name out first so when you are when you are adding it you won't have any issue with that akin branch and akin branch and from that's uh in the it department this department department um it department it department now i'll bring in uh what is it called Ready to start adding. I still want to check out some. Okay, in the client users, um, Annie or Benita. Let me just let me use Benita. This is for what for training purposes. And that is is in what is in client what client user is in the organization units. Is the word client users? Client users. If you don't know how to create an organization unit, you can check on my work on my previous video, and that will help you a lot. Now, I will take from the word from the from the human resources too. I'll take with me CV. Okay. Okay, so now I'm bringing out three word, three, and these are the people that what that are what that are appointed to carry out this work to carry out this task. It can be any task at all, and um, you want to work, you want to add a new group so that you as a sister admin you will be able to know that this word this group are what are carrying out different tasks on the work on the network. So now how do we go about it? Now the first thing you've done that and now the second part of it is where you go back to the managed service account 
Once you go back to the money side, you will double click on the word on this group, which I've already created before. Now, in the word, in the project team properties, you click on the members bar. Once you click on the members bar, you click on add. So now, user service account groups or other objects. Now, for us to work, for us to make this easy for us, so we are going to add a key into this word, into this project team. I understand me now once you do that you already click on a king i'm sorry you type a king branch so what to type a king what's the type a king you can check you can check check the name if his existence is going to bring it out yeah now the akin branch is as well as the technical looker now you add it so now akin branch has been what has been joined the users have been joined what into the world into the group now the next thing you are going to do is what is to so add the next person which is benita mind you this word these uh users are in different what different departments which is created in the what in the organization unit so you click on click on benita or copy you can copy you can type it to make it easy for you on next okay i think it's not it's not ready to anytime also type benita check name also check the name so you see benita is in another department not the same department as well as akin now click on okay now they are in different what they are in different department this is in what is in ic department this is in um this is um this is in clients users or clients users department so now mind you these people can work on the what on the one computer in order to carry out the stuff and they will be able to log on if they use their word they are log on what credentials so now the next one you are going to the next person or the next user we are adding is what is permissive Missy account will be joined to into this one into this group because it's what is choosing to carry out this one this project now can you see that is in what is in woman resources so what i want you to understand now that you can add any what any organization i mean any department any users in any department in your what in your local or server into the world into the issue into any group or any project you can also move as well to any other project to any other project thing that is different from this word this particular project we are, we are creating you can create any numbers of projects in order to in order for you to want to manage the work the user effectively so once that has been done you click on apply Other than you click on apply, then you click on OK. So you add what the users into the world, into the. Can you see the members of the world have been successfully had? So thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to what to comment your consign, and I will what I will try my possible best to what to explain more better or shipping some things that i'm unable to go to discuss in this word in this video you can as well join what well, join my um join my one-on-one -on -one classes in order to work in order to effectively understand more of what i can't show you here but i will i'll put it in the open in the word in the class Thank you. Um, wait for the next video, which I will be releasing soon.